The ash tree is under attack from an invasive insect pest called the emerald ash borer. It is an invasive insect, which means it has come here from a foreign land. It is not native to America. It is unbridled and wreaking havoc on our ash tree population in the United States. It has currently killed upwards of 60 million trees in 22 states and two Canadian provinces and will likely kill hundreds of millions before it is done. No ash tree will escape it. Every ash tree is vulnerable and will be attacked eventually. How to identify an ash tree? A couple simple characteristics can really narrow it down. First look at the branch structure. Ash trees have opposite branching structure, meaning the leaves and the smaller stems come off the main stem opposite each other. And the leaf itself is a compound leaf having five, seven, maybe upwards of nine leaflets per leaf. So if you have opposite branching structure and a compound leaf, you're about 95% certain you've got an ash tree. The ash trees are going to die and therefore we can either treat them or remove them. Unfortunately, there are no alternatives. If you wanna save your tree, we need to treat it. And let me go through the treatment options. We can treat the tree with an insecticide that is incorporated into the ground, the soil around the tree that's then taken up by the roots and the tree is then protected for one year. The other treatment choices are to treat the bark. We drench the bark, the lower five feet or so of the bark all the way around with a, another material that's absorbed through the bark and taken into the tree. And that will also protect the tree for one year. A third treatment choice gives us a two year window of protection, but there we need to drill into the tree and inject a material, an insecticide that's taken up through the tree that way, but that one does last two years. So those are the treatment options. Each of those though, require different dosages depending on the season of the year, also the size of the tree, and also the impact that emerald ash borer is already having on this tree. So therefore, you really need somebody who's professionally trained, such as those of us at Heritage Lawn and Landscape Care. We have nine certified arborists on staff well-trained, well-versed on what to do, which treatment choice to select. And if you do not choose a treatment option, you seriously do need to consider taking the tree down. And again, sooner than later, if you wait until the tree is dead and then say, okay, I'm going to take it down, ash wood gets very, very brittle when it dies. And therefore, if it's a larger tree, it may not be climbable therefore your cost structure will go way higher because we might need to bring a bucket truck or a crane in to remove the tree. It'd be unsafe to climb and remove. So if you have any questions at all about what to do with your ash trees, please feel free to contact us. We'd love to give you some advice, free consultations. We'll travel anywhere in South Central Pennsylvania to discuss your ash tree or trees, let you know what the treatment options are, if they're savable, or if they just need to be removed. So contact us via our website at heritagelawnandlandscape.com. We'd be happy to help you out in any way possible.